For Complex News, I'm Pierce Simpson, and our very own Complex Sports Editor, Adam Comprell, posed the question, is Tom Brady's legacy greater than Michael Jordan's? Here's his reasons why. Tom Brady probably put to bed the argument who the best quarterback in NFL history is on Sunday. Coming back from a 25-point deficit late in the third quarter to secure his fifth Super Bowl title and fourth Super Bowl MVP, both NFL records, sort of puts all other candidates to rest. Yes, Joe Montana won four titles, earned MVPs, and never lost a Super Bowl, but he can't wave his hand in front of all his haters with five Super Bowl rings featuring the most blinged out ring imaginable like Tom Brady these days. It seems like Brady has reached the levels of Babe Ruth, Wayne Gretzky, or Michael Jordan, and maybe he's past his airness. As Adam Caprell says, we need to start taking this conversation seriously. It may seem sacrilegious around these parts to tug at the GOAT's cape, but after what we witnessed last night, making the argument that Brady should go down as the better team athlete than MJ isn't all far-fetched. Think about it like this. Brady has taken his team to seven Super Bowls, 11 conference championship games, won all those rings and collected all those Super Bowl MVP trophies to showcase besides his two NFL MVP trophies while also manning the most difficult and demanding positions in all of team sports. And he's done so while significantly less gifted athletically and ages where the majority of the population is about as agile as DJ Khaled at the top of the key. MJ, on the other hand, absolutely dominated the competition and led the Bulls to six NBA titles while earning six NBA Finals MVP honors to go along with five MVP awards and countless other accolades during his storied career. Yes, he was on a different level and did things we never saw before. He was a game changer, a disruptor, and a legend that introduced a level of greatness and winning that hadn't been seen pretty much since the Celtics in the 60s. However, dynasties have always been a thing in the NBA. Dynasties aren't supposed to happen in the NFL. Not in today's football where free agency, the salary cap, injuries, and the absurdity of phantom calls the wrong bounce of a ball, and a million other things conspire to keep teams from going on prolonged runs of success. Yes, Bill Belichick deserves a ton of credit for his evil genius ways in molding Brady into a cold-blooded killer in the pocket. Without Belichick's genius, the Patriots are probably the same garbage franchise they historically were until Hoodie drafted a quarterback out of Michigan in the sixth round. Of course, MJ had Phil Jackson on the bench and Scottie Pippen as his running mate, along with Dennis Rodman later on. He played with at least one legend for all six of those titles and another Hall of Famer for his final three. How many Hall of Famers on offense and defense will Brady end up playing with? Adam Vinatieri and Randy Moss for sure. You can add Darrell Revis, who's a future Hall of Famer, but only played briefly with the Pats, just like Junior Seau, who was inducted in 2015. Yes, Tom Brady's been incredibly lucky during his career, arguably much more than Jordan. However, did Jordan ever author a comeback for the ages of historic proportions, like Brady did on Sunday on the game's biggest stage? As Adam Caprell puts, did Jordan ever lead his team back from the deficit that Tom Brady did? Sure, Jordan hit what felt like a million clutch shots, but he wasn't always the one in those NBA Finals hitting them. He had Paxson and Kerr helping him out. Sure, Tom Brady has had some help on the way, but he's always the one making the throws and running the show. The Patriots have been built around one individual through this run as the rest of the parts have been interchangeable. Brady has been the constant, never taking a year off to play baseball, never retiring for a second time only to return as a significantly diminished player. He's maintained a level of performance that defies logic and some might argue modern science. Brady is 39 years old and looks as good as he did when he was 29. MJ couldn't sustain the same level of productivity at the same advanced age. Jordan won his last title at age 36. Brady looks like he's good for another two or three seasons right now and he's turning 40 at the end of the year. He stated in past interviews that he sees himself playing for at least four or five more years. With no signs of slowing down, the Patriots are Super Bowl favorites again next year because of Tom Brady. And if TB12 is able to secure his eighth trip to the big game in his sixth title, Complex Sports editor Adam Capel states, the comparison between him and MJ will be a non-factor. It will be Brady all the way. To see the full argument on why Brady may be better than MJ, check out Complex Sports right now. That's the news for now. For more today's stories, be sure to keep it locked to Complex by subscribing to us on YouTube. For Complex News, I'm Pierre Simpson.